Hey guys, Paul Salmon here. So in the uh, ongoing saga of ideas that Robinson Helicopter ought to consider, uh, this one has to do with the R-22 and the, cab the design of the cabin heat on the R-22. And I would suggest that they could actually eliminate the electric motor that is used for the cabin heat. And so let's go out into the, um, into the hangar and I'll show you exactly what I'm speaking about here. Okay, so here's the R-22. The R-22 for the cabin heat has, on the back side of this panel, there's a, there's a grill. Let me show you that here. Here's the front of the grill. This is the intake for the cabin heat. And this panel goes on here like this, like that. And behind the intake part of it here, so behind the intake panel, the, the little fan sits here and it draws air in through the through the vent and then the motor blows it down this hose here to the um, show you here to the um, shroud around the muffler and then on the opposite side of the muffler here is this forward shroud that goes forward to the cabin this is it right here and that goes in and that gets your warm air into the cabin. There's a little door there that when you pull the button up to adjust the amount of uh, cabin heat, it either opens a door more or less and that lets in more heat or less heat. Well, I would suggest that Robinson can actually eliminate this motor completely. And like it is on the R44, it comes off the plenum, this cooling plenum here, and there's a short jumper that goes from the plenum over to the uh, shroud here, and then the rest of it would be exactly the same. So the cooling fan on the engine is what's actually providing the airflow through that and into the cabin heat, and it would eliminate this motor completely. R44 doesn't have this sort of setup. It has just the short jumper from the plenum over to the uh, shroud around the muffler, and it eliminates the possibility of of having this um, electric motor. This electric motor, if you're not depending on that electric motor, then there's no electric motor there to fail. And believe it or not, this little motor cost, I believe, $1,400. So you could completely eliminate the electric motor and uh, would actually make the aircraft lighter and uh, would uh, certainly be an advantage over the, the current situation with an R-22. Okay, so here we are under the uh, butt end of an R-44. <laughs> Here's a cooling shroud around the motor. And so you see this little short, this uh, hose here that goes from the uh, plenum or the shroud over to the muffler here. And then from the muffler forward on that side, you can see the uh, hose that goes forward into that's cabin heat in there, right? And this, this particular setup, there is no uh, electric motor. And so there's no electric motor to fail. And this is the R44. By going to the same setup that you basically have on the R44, you could eliminate that little electric motor. And like I said, if the motor's not there, it's not there to fail. So you can make the aircraft cheaper, it would be lighter, maybe just a little bit faster. You might save a pound or so off the weight of it. So anyway, overall would be, uh, I think, a pretty good idea to do that. So, well, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next video.